No one does Southwestern cuisine better than Fearing's Restaurant in Dallas, Texas, and we're here with chef and owner Dean Fearing to learn how to make his classic tortilla soup. Join us on Get the Dish. Find out the secrets behind the signature dishes at famous eateries and how you can recreate them at home. Chef, we're so excited to have you here. I'm excited to be here. Tell us why this is a soup that has to be in your cooking arsenal. This soup has been with me since 1981. It was the first soup on the French menu at the mansion on Turtle Creek back in 81. Can you believe it? And that it? was before any of these Southwestern flavors it even was existed. The first no one was Southwest doing it. dish. So we're with the king of Southwestern cuisine. <laughs> no one else is teaching me how to make tortilla soup. What's the first thing we need to do? We have our olive oil, and then we're going to brown our whole cloves of garlic. Then we're going to add corn tortilla strips. So would you say that one of the common mistakes that people make is just kind of putting all the flavors together, whereas you gotta really start slow, layer them up? You know, I think that is the true trick to great soup. Okay. Now, adding some ancho chilies. Now these were- yeah, what are ancho chilies? Poblano chilies, mm -hmm. dried, they become anchos. Oh, what kind of flavor is this gonna give oh, the dish? Oh, this is gonna give us that great chili flavor. Not hot. Mm -hmm. You know, anchos provide that great deepness to a chili, but doesn't give us the heat factor. Well, you're known for your bold flavors. And talk about bold flavors. Oh, jalapeno. We're going to add the spice of life jalapenos. <laughs> We're going to then add cumin, oh, coriander, wow. along with cilantro, and bay leaf. Bay leaf, that's a really unique flavor for a Southwestern dish. It's, you know, it's it goes back to, I think, the old cooking days mm -hmm. where bay leaf was used to, you know, and spaghetti sauces, yeah, Italian all dishes. of that. Yeah, and they also filtered into Mexican dishes, which gives it also that great flavor mm -hmm. that only a bay leaf can do. So I feel like tortilla soup is one of those dishes, it's either a hit or miss. You go to a restaurant, you're like, oh. yeah, that was good. You go to another restaurant, wow, that was great. Uh, yes. What yeah. else is the secret to making a really great tortilla soup besides layering the flavors? That the fact I use onion and tomato. And then I don't just chop the onions, yeah. <laughs> I puree the onions. When you puree a white onion, mm -hmm. it thickens the soup naturally. Now most tortilla soups traditionally mm -hmm. are a chicken stock base. Right. But yeah. I add a puree of tomatoes, which gives it another layer of hardiness. Oh, gosh. Look at that. And can you add the rest? Of our chicken stock? Absolutely. Pour that right in. And then we're gonna finish it with just a little bit of cracked black pepper. So after the black pepper, mm -hmm. we're gonna bring it to a big boil and then turn it down to a simmer and let it simmer for 45 minutes. Mm. So chef, while our soup is simmering, you're gonna show me the garnishes. The garnish is another layer to our 30 layers of this soup. I was just about to say, this is like a 30 layer soup, but that's why it's bursting with those bold flavors that you're known for. You can have this all ready and we're gonna put them all in piles into the bowl. And, and then when you're at your dinner party, you can just go around pouring the soup the hot on top. soup on top, which then adds this permeated flavor. Well, because the chicken's gonna soak up the it soup, does. the radishes, the Well, and cabbage. the chicken is smoked. Right. We don't have any smoke flavor okay. in the soup. So mm -hmm. then when we add it in the bowl, that smoke flavor comes out through the soup. So we've added smoked chicken, a little bit of cabbage, julienne, we need the crispy tortillas, oh, yeah. which then- That's one of my add, favorites. Oh, same here. Who, who, I couldn't live without chips and salsa, could you? <laughs> no. And then jalapenos. And then here comes the real traditional method. Radish and cabbage is very Mexicano. Okay. It, and plus, of course, the avocado right there. And then, of course, in the middle, we need our white cheddar. And then you have all of those flavors ready to go for the soup. Beautiful. But talk about flavor, we need to finish seasoning our simmering tortilla soup with a little cayenne, a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, wow. And of course we need to finish off with salt. Now let's not be scared of the salt. Mm. We need to season it, Brandy. It's very important. That's <laughs> what's gonna give us that great flavor. I mean, people say, wow, why can't I make this soup at home 
tastes exactly like yours in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's called salt. Okay. <laughs> and it's also called your cookbook. Well, it's also called... <laughs> The, Follow the directions, that's exactly. Right. <laughs> and this is in the new cookbook, which is the Texas Food Bible. Well, everything in Texas is bigger, and I know your cookbook is just filled with tons of big recipes. They are bold <laughs> recipes. So, Chef, our soup has been simmering for about 45 minutes. Now we're going to puree it? Yes, but first, is that the best smell in the whole wide world? Oh, my gosh. This whole studio smells amazing. <laughs> I know. I'm going to carefully... So we're putting the chilies in there and everything. Everything, because this is all a natural thickener. We're always gonna use a safety precaution when blending hot liquids mm -hmm. into a blender. We never wanna fill it up more than halfway. Okay. Then we put it in our blender. So another safety precaution is we're gonna take the lid off so the steam can escape. We're going to put this towel over top of it in case it does explode, it doesn't explode on Oh, us. great tip. And then start at the lowest speed. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Chef, this smells so good. Okay, so now I can pour it over our garnishes? Absolutely. And this is what we'd want to do at home. Have our garnishes ready. And look at that. Right over that cheese. And then we take our spoon and just let all of those great Flavors oh my gosh. Just permeate that soup. Doesn't that look great? And look, the consistency is we didn't just even fantastic. Yeah. It yeah, we didn't have thickens. to make a roux or butter or nothing, flour or anything. Nothing. I mean, this is a very healthy soup. And Chef, what do you serve with your tortilla soup? Only one thing. Because I saw you brought something. Bacon, jalapeno, cornbread. Oh. And these my are made gosh. individually and smell that. And you Look at that corn. The kitchen sink of bold flavors. <laughs> well, in Texas, they do it big, right? <laughs> That's right. And oh, then we're doing a little dippy we have dip. To dip. Okay. In Texas, we do the dip to get well, it started. Well, dip, baby, dip. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Gonna... Okay, hold on. I got to eat in circles. I need just like a little bit of this too. Mm hmm So now, do you taste that other layer of flavor just from the garnishes itself? There's so much flavor. It's creamy. It's spicy. I taste the smoked chicken, just like you said. Absolutely. And the great thing of it is, it's healthy. I mean, there's no cream, there's no butter, there's no thickener. Healthy and one pot. One pot. I love that. And double the recipe, because put the rest in the freezer so you have some when you need it. You're just making dreams come true right now. <laughs> Chef, thank you so much for being here and teaching us how Brandy, to make your classic you. tortilla soup. It's great to be in LA, great to be in Pop Sugar's studio. Can't wait to have you back. <laughs> and thank you for watching. I'm Brandy, and we'll see you next time we get the dish on Pop Sugar.